finding the centroid, finding the centroid of a shape in AutoCAD. Now, to find the centroid of a shape, the centroid is basically a center point um, with other information such as area perimeter. And there is a mathematical principle, but today I'll be showing you the graphical method in AutoCAD to find the centroid of a shape easily and the moments of inertia, product of inertia, and all the principal moments that are related to the object. So let's get a drawing. This is what I just did not too long ago. And let's get something else from the internet. So we'll go to the internet to find a drawing and copy this one. Copy. Go back to CAD. Paste it here. Control V. Paste. So we want to reproduce this. This is a bit big. So we're going to reproduce this. So it's 50 millimeters here, 100 here. All right. Nine. So you know it's 150 plus 30 plus 120. Mm -hmm. 180. Then 250. All right. Then. 180 again. Then we have this 120 here. So. One twenty. Go up. Is this one thirty? One thirty, then connect to there. Boom. All right. And now to get the circular part, it should be here. So this is the center from here. Boom. The radius is 100. Circle 100. Okay. So I can trim it up. And this is our figure. Now we will find the centroid of this figure. So first thing we would have to do, because we just drew it using lines and circles, we have to make everything one. So we use the command called region. Select all of it. R E G I O N region. Not region. Region is for making um, shapes become circular again. Region G I O N. Then it says here select an object. So we reselect the object. Boom. Then right click. All of it becomes one object. So that's what region does. Make everything that you just drew become one. So now that it is one object, we need to head to mass properties. So we select, type mass properties, M A S. Here we go, mass prop. Then it says here, select object. We listen to the or read the command line to know what to do. So select object. We reselect the object. Then right click or enter. And all of this comes up. So I'm going to copy all of this here. This is all the information as it relates to pertains, all the information that pertains to this shape. Copy. And then I'm going to paste it in the model space right there. And this is all the information. Now to actually, so we have the centroid here. And the centroid is x, y. We get these points, right? To find the centroid, this is the x point, and this is the coordinate for the x um, x axis, and this is the coordinate for the y axis. So we're going to type them in. So to find the point, because these coordinates gives you a point. So to find the point, what we'll do is um, type the word point, p o i n t, point, 
and then we type in the x and y values. So the x value first, then comma, then y value. So one, so the x value is one, two, six, one, six point four, comma, and the y value now, three, one, two, two point seven, enter. And here we see the point comes here. So the centroid is basically right here for this object. As you can see in this drawing here, it is located right there, which is the same as right here. Good. Now, if we should do a measurement of this, now we can draw a line through the center this way and that way to get to ensure that it's the same thing as this point right here. But what we're going to do also is to show you how to get the point to change different. So for this point, the reason why this point is looking like this is because I changed it from a dot to this object right, this shape right here. So for to look at to change this, we do p type, the command called p type. So p t y p type. Uh huh. And this comes up. So this would be the dot that is um default on your AutoCAD. You can change it to any of these. So if I change it to this one, you will see when I you can change the size of the point to make it bigger. Okay, you see we have this point here. So what I'm going to do now is draw my center lines. Type scale to the ten. Enter. And this is how I find my centroid of a shape in AutoCAD. So this is the graphical method of finding the centroid. Information is here, product of inertia. So you can use this when you're doing the mathematical method, you can use this method as a means of testing if your answers are correct. 